Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Soft Commodities Report and starting with soybeans here. Now, um, we were looking at a retracement from the 1200 here. We were looking for it to pull back into this zone through here. There is good reason to suggest that um, we've got a low in place or we've got one more little low to come in, in play here. Now, there's a few things that um, we need to sort of go back over. These waves 1, ABC for 2, up for 1, ABC for 2 here are not the best looking impulse waves to the upside that I've seen. And I'm not really sure how to sort of treat them all or uh, work with them. But it does appear that the move up through here does appear to be a nice long third wave. So um, we can assume, which is a little bit dangerous, we can assume that we are looking at a wave four here. But if these wave one, wave twos here were simple, which they were, they were basically three waves ABC, ABC, then it normally would suggest that wave four would be complicated so um, even though I've got the market pointing uh, up through here, it's also possible that this can get a little bit more complicated uh, as such here. Okay, that's the first thing that we need to be aware of here. And if that was the case, then we would see, I think we've got maybe another move down here. We'll check on that in a moment, but a move to the 60, 50, 60% retracement level and then breaking the trend line channel here and then moving up here. We may get lucky and it can just continue up through to here, but we don't even have enough evidence for that just yet. We're still, we knew that we'd get the turn. We we're looking back through to here. We don't have the evidence for a nice solid setup for a long trade here just yet. You could have a go, but I don't think it's the thing to do. Breaking that down a little bit, with those things in mind, um, going to the four hour chart to start with here. In a nutshell, it's possible to have it as an A and a B and a C to this point and we can move up from, from there. And in the soya beans, uh, it looks quite good. In the soya meal, it looks like we've still got another move down uh, to come. So um, you can trade it long here, um, but uh, you just need to be aware that um, you know that there's resistances along the way and this is one of them here the other first one that you would face is where all these see those open and closes how they've matched up there that would be significant as well so a move up and back and so on from that point there um just drilling into this a little bit further through here this is where it gets a little bit complicated it's just my own work so i'm sorry about that but I've got it down as here as a possible A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave uh, here. Um, so um, I'll go over it if you like, because you know from the top here we can have wave one and wave two here. We can also have wave three here. This wave three here is the same length as wave one here, or just a little bit longer. So it's possible to call it wave three, then wave four coming back here, but. The only problem with having wave four coming back here, it overlaps wave one. Um, so I've kept it there as one and two and three and four and then five waves down here to complete it here. But it's probably a better fit with having this as the A wave here, the B wave. And in on the other chart, you would have seen that in, in, uh, in blue. So I'll just put that in blue. It's just that I work with a few things going on at the same time, so and that can be confusing. It confuses the hell out of me sometimes. So, um, so wave A here, wave B here, and wave C here. And the thing that I like about this is that this length here from um, wave A here and wave C here, they're the same length. See those little dotted lines here? basically the same length very close you know and that's what you'd expect with an ABC correction so it's highly likely that the ABC is in and that's why I've, I've put the low in here now um, in moving up through here we should be able to figure it out as it goes it, it appears that we've got some sort of uh, uh, obviously some sort of structure here um, but it really won't be until this this leg here starts now 
if it's going to be a third wave up and make new highs up here, well then it's going to be looking on more of an angle coming in, more of an angle than wave A here, okay? It will be sharper to the upside. So if you see it being sharper, then you've got the inclination to add to the positions to go up higher. If you see wave C here be, being exactly the same here, or even a bit sluggish like that, then you know it's a wave C here and you'll need to short it at that point. Okay. Now, um, this resolves itself quite nicely down here as the five-wave structure. When we look at um, soybean meal, um, it's slightly different. Once again, we're looking at it as, as a corrective move. And normally I find the distance above something goes is normally the distance below. So we're pretty much sort of on track. And we were looking to pull back to that gray line through here. So we're kind of there, but I'm still expecting another move down, which which would be which wouldn't be in line with um, uh, soya beans. So a slight different uh, uh, count uh, here. I'm not going to worry about this one on the four hour chart. I want to go in and have a look at um, it in a bit more detail here. So in this instance here, I'm just short one wave. Um, so I'm a little bit sort of puzzled by it. Um, so I can call this wave A here and wave B as we've done before, but I had it in green now because it's in blue. Um, and then we were looking for a move down into 38. So when we're working with like a large level, like or any level, in this case, it's uh, 40,000 here, which is four, which is a medium level. And then we would work with group one above and group two below. So 38, um, then it would be a 72 and a 65 in here. So that's the levels that we'd work with. If group two here became the resistance, then we'd be looking in a bear market further down. But we've got to give it a chance to sort of pan out. I've gone over this and as I see it so far, wave A, wave B, and then wave one here, wave two here, uh, and then all of this uh, wave three here, wave four and wave five. Uh, so we're still just a wave short in this. And if I go to the 15 minute chart here, just to make things a little bit more complicated, this is actually, it's counted uh, same, but different, different. I mean, it's counted the same sort of uh, thing, but anyway, look, this is just some detailed work here that um, uh, wave one, wave two, wave one, wave two. And then in this case here, we've got wave one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave here, then the fifth wave here. I'm showing you this because if you're doing your own counting, this is how I've got the trend counted. This wave four would pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree here uh, and then move down from down from that point here. So I don't think this is finished. We would be interested in going long if the 4,000, uh, 40,000 became the support there. Okay. Um, okay. Want to move on. I won't look at soybean oil. Well, we, okay. I will because I didn't look at it last time. It's still on its down trajectory here, down into 3,000 here. This is not, uh, it's just the legs not finished here yet as five waves. We've got one and two and three. Uh, and this is a bit complicated in here, but I've just tagged wave four here. Um, wave four could also go on there as well. Um, but I just don't think it's finished to the downside. I know there's support here. Um, it's just not, it's, it's, it's not, it, it's not tradable. You don't want to trade it into that large number. Um, okay, so... Um, We'll do wheat and corn uh, next, and then we'll have a look at sugar and coffee and so on. So um, we'll go to uh, corn first, and I'm just going to go to, in this instance, I'm just going to go to the two-hour chart and this top here at 450. So um, what we're looking for here is that, or what we, what we can see here is we've got this move down as wave one and wave two. And in this move down through here, we've got five waves. We've got the strong third wave in the middle here. So um, it's not that simple, actually. The wave three, well, this is wave one and two here, and then one and two and three and four and five for the third and the fourth and the fifth. Anyway, the third is here. The fourth wave, we're looking for an A and a B, and a C wave retesting the 400 there, and then wave five down, uh, down into 370 here. 
So because extension's in wave three, that means that wave one and wave five will be roughly the same. So I think that, um, look, if we do get five waves here, then that's going to help us confirm getting another five waves. So one and two and three and four and five here, if we get the five waves, then we can look at the A, B and C correction over here and then look for, um, for a short trade through here. So it's quite a way off being a short trade uh, as such would be looking for it, um, you know, over in this side over here. Um, so yeah, look, nothing really cooking here, but we'll just watch this unfold. And if it if it um, if it does all the right things and gets into this corner here, then we'll be on the short side for corn. Uh, the wheat market, uh, Chicago wheat. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to stay on the two hour chart. We've got a sharp trend to the downside. And it's not finished. Yes, you can short it down if you wanted to. You probably are if you're trading it. But I was looking at all of this being wave one here and wave two here. Uh, and then this being wave three. Now remember that wave three here can't be shorter than wave one. So you can see that it's just naturally here that it's got uh, just, just using the old yardstick here. Um, so you can see that it's still too short yet. So I'm looking for wave three, whoops a daisy, to come down into uh, this area through here. And um, then wave four coming back to the wave four of one lesser degree, because from here we've got one and two and three and four and five here. Um, so still got, well, now I, I don't know if, we, if wave one's actually going to get right down to the bottom here or just partly close to it. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, certainly be trading it to that particular number and then we'll be looking for a bounce here as well okay in terms of an A and a B and a C and we'll monitor that but then this is where the short trade comes in over here for uh, for wheat so we're going to play it out that way and uh, let's look at the other guys here so um, first one is sugar now we know that sugar can just do its own thing it doesn't have to um play out with the other markets so um we've just held this bullish count and we were looking for a wave four to pull back and as you can see that's done that and now we're looking for wave five here we're looking for a new high above wave three here and um looking for this wave five of three here so it's the intraday's a little bit tricky to to work out here so um you know this is about the best we had it this is where we spoke last time about it so yeah nothing really to sort of say or do here so we're looking for uh a move up from here anyway um it may this way four may get a little bit more complicated but it has pulled back to its 38.2 retracement level which is here so that's suffice so that's good as well um the coffee market would been a little bit um it's been a bit of a wild journey this one and as i mentioned before i wasn't sure if this move up here was wave one or wave a and wave two or wave B. If it's an A and a B and a C wave here, then we're looking for you know we're looking for a much a move much further down here. Um, if we're going to see this market move up, then it needs to stay above the thirteen thousand. And as I've mentioned before, um, we need to see this basically play out here as an A and a B, and then five waves here, four wave C here. Um, into the 61.8% retracement level. If we can see it impulsing from that point, then we'll look to go into it. But otherwise, um, if it fades from here, then we'll look to short it under these levels here. So I, I, I just don't have the evidence to, to say what it is. I can see what it needs to do in both cases. So once again, we need to allow it to get to this point here. But if it gets to this point here anyway, some of those um, corn and wheat are going to be uh, the main sort of trades at that, at that stage. Um, okay, I'm going to do cocoa and then I'm going to do uh, cotton. So the cocoa here... Now that the market's fallen out of bed here a little bit, so it's probable that we are looking now at uh, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five into this area through here. Uh, once again, um, on this side of it here, we'd want to see there will be some sort of pull towards this number here 
but eventually there will be something like this here, some reasonable move lower uh, and then a retest. And it's that retest low as your reference point and to short at one one point below that when it comes into play. Okay, so it shouldn't be a bad trade. We should be, obviously, it's, you know, we're targeting down here, but at the same time, this block here is obviously going to give it um, a lot of support here as well. Um, but as it stands, wave one and two and three and four and five, moving down through here. And the cotton market, I think we need to look at this a little bit as well. Um, just sort of squashing it up. That's how it's squashed up here, okay? So um, we've had five waves down here for wave three on that low here. And we've seen this move across the medium level 65 here. And, you know, we haven't really paid it much attention, but um, we thought we'd tune into it as it started to move over here. So really an A wave here, an A and a B and a C for the B wave, and then one and two and three and four and five up here for the C wave. So, um, Technically, from wave four here, we can be looking down to five thousand. So I think it's a, I think it's a leg, you know, and a situation that we could actually look at now as well. And the good thing is too, it's not really part of the, you know, the other commodity markets as such. So I don't forgot it's on a four-hour, two-hour chart. I'll just go to two-hour chart now. So we were looking for five waves up here to complete this wave four of, of wave C. So perhaps I should just um, put these in here while we're here. Wave C, we can change that to orange, which is a minor level. And then the um, intermediate wave four here. And I'm just going to save this here. Now, it certainly looks like a triangle at the 65 level here. Um, but we do have one and two and three and four and five up here. So even if this was wave one, it wouldn't be a triangle because wave twos don't have triangles. So it's more likely that this is wave one, back for wave two, down for wave one, back for wave two, down for wave one, back for wave two. So I'm imagining this is actually going to move quite swiftly through here because it will be a series of ones and twos into, into the third wave. So... Um, if I was wrong, then um, by making a new high above here, that's at what point I'd be wrong and I'd need to be long at that stage. But if this one here gets taken out, we need to be short here with a stop here and vice versa. If we get a move that moves up through here, we need to be long there and we need to have a stop here. We're playing the trade out at this level here. That's the main point of it all, okay? The Elliott can be helpful in ter determining, you know, the, the, the direction of the market, um, but we're still coming out of a very long, laborious, corrective move. So it could get uglier, but I just couldn't imagine it getting any uglier than it actually is here. Well, it's not really ugly. I mean, it's quite a pretty picture in terms of a corrective pattern as an A and a B and a C wave here. So the main point here is just look at this psychological to see if it's going to let go of this number here. So taking out these lows here would do that, okay? Um, just wanted to check. No, I think we've sort of covered everything now. All right, well, thanks for, um, I was a bit of a long video, but um, just wanted to uh, cover it, uh, those markets. All right, cheers, thanks.